on YouTube, it's your boy OGT Man, and today we got Why the Baby Abandoned Stunner for Vegas by my boy 1111. Make sure to go subscribe. Make sure I like the video. We're gonna go to somebody was like, Go to the comments. I should go to the comments. So I'm gonna try if I don't remember. My fault. I'm just not that type of reactor. I get to the point, I sometimes pause for comedic purposes. And the voice, my opinion. Other than that, I don't do too much. But anyways, let's stop wasting time. Let's get into the video. Back in 2019, when the baby exploded into the mainstream, you couldn't help but also notice this other artist who was always seen with him. Labeled by many as the baby's sidekick, it's almost impossible to find a the baby concert, TV performance, or interview from 2019 where he's not the side fellow North Carolina rapper Stunna for Vegas. Oh, we just the hottest two ever. <laughs> That's what's up. That too. However, after actually signing to DaBaby under his billion dollar baby record label, attaching himself to one of the hottest rappers at the time, it wasn't long before this decision came back to bite him, because following the pandemic, Stunna was never able to regain anywhere close to that same success. But what really happened between the two? Although some fans believe that Stunna for Vegas actually retired from rapping after splitting from DaBaby's label, and is instead now entirely focused on his AAU basketball team, in this video we reveal the truth behind why Stunna's music career went downhill so fast. Mm. Tired of this rap. I was tired of the, like being a rapper for real. Why the fuck you become a rapper if you knew you that wasn't like a you 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 stupid bitch you you you, you stupid bitch literally. Let's go. This past decade, we've seen countless up-and-coming artists signed to one of these rapper-owned record labels, and it turned out to be the worst decision they've ever made. And the truth is, the baby's record label is no exception. However, let's put ourselves in the shoes of Stunna for Vegas for a second. Prior to him and DaBaby becoming, as they claim, the hottest duo ever, born and raised in Salisbury, North Carolina, only about an hour north of Charlotte and with no relation to the city of Vegas, as the four in his name stands for his area code 704, Stunna for Vegas began taking music seriously once he graduated high school. And from there, he didn't stop, slowly gaining attention in the local scene with multiple mixtapes and singles. Just a year later, Stunna's music would catch the eye of a buzzing Charlotte for the baby actually through an instagram post by a local dj who was popping my shit too for sure and baby seen it and he liked something but he didn't like it on my page so whoever he page he liked it on hit me up and i said man tell him i'm trying to get in touch with him and baby responded to me just like that Listing some of his biggest influences as Lil Wayne, T.I., and Gucci Mane. Although Stunna had been making small strides independently, this opportunity to link with one of the hottest artists in his city was too good to pass up. Now at this point in 2018, DaBaby was by no means the global superstar that he was about to soon be. But that's not to say he wasn't still a well-known name in the Carolina scene. After the two met up in person though, they not only noticed their instant chemistry together as friends, but also their chemistry in the studio as they wasted no time getting to work. I saw raw talent, says DaBaby of first meeting Stunna, I could tell without having anything that he still walked and talked like a star. He hard, man. Little nigga star. Yeah. You know what I mean? He did what a star gonna do. Yeah. And I led him in the right direction. Working with DaBaby was, as Stunna said, an opportunity that changed his entire life. However, as we'll see in a second, Stunna for Vegas has since moved on from that lavish man. lifestyle that DaBaby provided. That motherfucker got a child. He got a fine-ass wife. Whoever that is, let me know when you get tired of that light skin ass nigga. Come fuck with a real nigga. No, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. But yeah, you look some bad shit. Damn. Early the day after connecting on Instagram in September of 2018, the two recorded their first song together, titled Animal, with a verse from DaBaby that Stunna paid for. Which, thanks to DaBaby also posting the track on his own YouTube channel, is still one of Stunna's most popular songs. But to follow up Animal then came the track four times on DaBaby's Blank Blank mixtape two months later, a project that Stunna for Vegas was the only feature on. Clearly, DaBaby and Stunna were really hitting it off, and fans were loving the music they were dropping together. So, in late 2018, DaBaby made the decision to actually sign Stunna for Vegas to his new record label Billion Dollar Baby Entertainment, joining a roster of artists including K Kilo, Wisdom, and this guy Rich Dunk with the crazy hair. I got an independent label Billion Dollar Baby Entertainment, like even LeBron James in it. Like, okay, know. so you signed him to your label, basically? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what's mm -hmm. up. 
It's never been done before like this, recalls Stina of signing to DaBaby. You see other rappers and other labels with the jewelry and clothes with the tape that blew up like three years ago. Now, all they are is fresh on Instagram. Three years from now, me and Baby will still be the hottest rappers in the game. Stunna believed that signing to DaBaby was the best choice for his career and his dream of becoming a star. However, although here in 2024, he has since split and is a fully independent artist now dropping under 3 million monthly listeners, judging from Stunna and DaBaby's success in 2019, you would have never guessed. While the baby's blank blank mixtape continued his momentum, it wasn't until March of 2019 that he would explode straight into the mainstream, all thanks to his debut album. One look at the now platinum Baby on Baby tracklist and you'll notice that with only four features on the 13 total songs, back when this album dropped, Rich the Kid, Offset, and Rich Homie Kwan were all mainstream names that the majority of people had heard before. But not this other guy, Stunna for Vegas on the track, Joggers. Whoever, thanks to the duo's energy, charisma, personality, and of course musical talent, combined with the two beginning to play shows together all over the world, often at multiple venues in a single day. As DaBaby continued to blow up, he was also heavily pushing his new artist, Stunna for Vegas, bringing him with him everywhere. And again, fans were loving it. And then when me and Baby came, man, that's all you heard. Along with the fact that his debut album was filled with hits such as Suge, Going Baby, Pony, Walker, Texas Ranger, Best Friend, and Babysitter with Offset to name a few. Another big reason that Baby on Baby blew up so much in the mainstream was due to DaBaby's new record deal with Interscope. But while it was announced in January of 2019 that DaBaby had signed to Interscope Records in a joint partnership with his own label, DaBaby also made it clear that his artist Stunna for Vegas was part of the deal as well. Like, I got a deal that Stunna for Vegas wasn't supposed to get, but... Baby stood on that. This little nigga a star. So if y'all, you feel me? Like I got the same deal as Baby. Baby was basically telling Interscope, like, nah. Stunna for Vegas would officially ink his joint record deal with Interscope in May of 2019, and along with his new contract came his debut album, Big Four Times. Featuring more mainstream names with the help of his new labels, such as Offset, Lil Durk, Emily Choppa, Young Nudie, and of course two songs with his good friend, the year of 2019 would just keep getting better and better for Stunna and a baby. In addition to his second studio album, Kirk, in September, becoming his first project to ever reach number one on Billboard, which included another Stunna for Vegas feature on the song Really, not to mention to Baby's features on massive mainstream hits with Post Malone, Lil Nas X, and one of his best verses ever on J. Cole's Under the Sun, the Baby's 2019 run was honestly insane. Before COVID, I was already getting 400,000, a show 300,000. I definitely got some 400,000, so I was getting 300,000 consistently, though, 250, 300. Combined with creative and unique music videos through the Real Goats production team, the two were constantly going viral for the right reasons. However, while from Stone's perspective, signing with arguably the hottest artists out proved to be a pivotal moment catapulting him into the industry. Just a year later in 2020, though, everything was about to change. Mm. If the beginning of 2020 was anything to judge, it was looking to be another huge year for Stunna for Vegas. Led by the project single Up the Smoke with Offset raking in over 100 million streams on Spotify alone, Stunna would release his second album, Rich Youngin, in January of 2020, his highest charting project to date. With all of this momentum, just a month later then in February, he would land a feature on Polo G's track Go Stupid alongside Anneli Chapo, Stunna's most streamed song ever released. Again, things were starting off great. However, then came March of 2020, and as we all know, the COVID pandemic. Not only would COVID shut down the entire world, but it also put an abrupt stop to DaBaby and Stunna's concerts they had been playing basically every night. And although these live shows were definitely huge for their growth, the lockdown could not stop DaBaby though from continuing to release music, actually going on to land his biggest five-time platinum and first number one hit rock star with Roddy Rich on his Blame It On Baby album in April. And while Stunna for Vegas, who was featured twice on the album's deluxe in August, would a month later find himself in some drama. After rumors that he got his chain snatched in Atlanta began as someone posted a video online in possession of Stunna's ice. Since, as we know, this can be terrible for a rapper's reputation, Stunna was extremely fast to deny these claims. You went in the car and you stole him. We're trying to get him chains. You can keep everything else you find in the whip. We want the chains. St that shit. That shit crazy. What the fuck? I'm going out here snatch, stealing out of people car. See this this why niggas gotta move out of Atlanta. You mm, couldn't be me. Uh, I shoot a bitch. You know. Stunna claimed that the robber stole his jewelry out of his car instead of off his neck. But regardless, this whole incident was just a sign of what was to come in the months ahead. Stunna for Vegas released his third album, Welcome to For Vegas, in November of 2020, but despite another feature from label boss DaBaby, compared to his previous work, this album flopped, becoming Stunna's first project to not even chart on Billboard at all. And then came 2021. 
fresh off of one of the biggest songs of the year, his levitating remix with Dua Lipa, something the baby would say during his 2021 Rolling Loud performance in Miami was about to change everything. You didn't show up today with HIV, AIDS, any of them deadly sexual... I don't remember he said this dumb ass shit. I was like, why? Why? You could have kept that to your fucking self, goofball. Like... Why would you even say some shit like that? See, that that's a... Man, now I understand why he started going down here because of dumb shit he would say. It's easy. They'll make you die in two, three weeks. Put a cell phone like that. Uh, fellas, if you ain't sucking dick in the parking lot, put your cell phone like that. Let's be real about this shit. Following these homophobic comments at Rolling Loud, DaBaby's career was never the same. At a time when internet cancel culture was arguably at its peak, we started seeing DaBaby quickly get dropped from these festivals and brands left and right, clearly making a dent in his pub. <laughs> well, I mean, well, I mean, well, well, Reputation. Hey y'all, this is because I'm at, I'm at work right now. As I mentioned in my video about why these rapper-owned record labels always fail, one of the biggest problems when you sign to another- uh, I'm sorry, y'all. Some other people on the Wi-Fi as well. Artist is that your career is now also affected by what happens to them. Even if it's very negative, such as getting canceled like the baby did once he doubled down on his comments. And he just kept making mistake after mistake after mistake after mistake after mistake. Honestly, I thought this would happen a long time ago. Yeah. But due to all this controversy, neither DaBaby nor Stunna for Vegas would release an album in 2021. And for a rapper like Stunna, who is already in. another big song this would prove to be oh and 11 11 you're doing an amazing job Mostly mistake. Stunna finally returned in May of 2022 with his fourth album, Ray Ray Sun, but by this point it was too late. Despite another DaBaby collab on the deluxe with a DA Got That Dope beat, which would have likely been a hit had it dropped three years ago, this project would again fail to even chart. And as it now turns out, not only would Standoff be the last Stunna for Vegas and DaBaby song we've heard as of this video, but this album would go down as Stunna's last release while signed to DaBaby and his record label. So what actually happened behind the scenes? If there's one thing fans need to know about Stunna for Vegas, it's that he's never cared about clout or the antics that come with the music industry. With that being said, although many fans believe that he was dropped from his label after his music kept flopping, Stunna has since clarified that he actually... ...to be released himself. In state eight. Man, my label ain't dropped me. I asked to be out. You dumb. Just look at my house, goofy. Now, you might be wondering, why would Stunna give up this great record deal that rappers all around the world would do anything to have? But it all stems back to his personal life. Following the pandemic, Stunna for Vegas moved to Houston, where he not only met his girl and fell in love, but also announced in May of 2023 that he was having his first kid. I tightened up for you. I turned all this shit around for you. I love you so much, Stunna posted. I appreciate you and your mama for changing my life right on time. I did come to Houston. I found love in Houston, man. I found peace in Houston. I came to Houston and started thinking way different. I stopped doing a lot of shit I was doing. I just, like, grew up for real. After moving to Houston, Stunna credits not only his new baby for turning his life around, but also AAU basketball. One day while at his 24-hour fitness gym, a local AAU team was practicing on the courts. And once the players noticed Stunna and introduced themselves, Stunna basically took over the team as their new owner. What I wanted when I was playing AAU, I knew what shoes, I know what shoes them boys gonna wanna play in. Like, you feel me? I know what jerseys they gonna wanna play in. I know what tournaments they gonna wanna play in. But just come f with me. Y'all ain't gotta pay me or nothing. Y'all just gotta come hoop. As a huge basketball fan his entire life, and now wanting to be a positive role model for young kids, Stunna's dreams of venturing into the business side of sports combined with simply his loss of passion for making new rap music would all lead to release from the baby's an Interscope record. 
Yeah, I got, I, I lost my passion and that, and that probably like led me to get discouraged. I was happy because I was knowing that, oh, I'm about to start this venture that I knew I was planning the whole time trying to get out. It wasn't even no rap though. It was literally like all AAU shit. Like I said, I, that's shit. when I was like, I'm about to chill. But along with now managing an AAU basketball team and even hosting AAU showcases in Houston, after realizing that he would have to totally give up music and possibly have to go to college in order to release as a professional sports agent, decided to just continue releasing music to his core fan base, this time on his own terms. Partnering with a Tampa-based distribution company, STB Entertainment, Stunna would make his return and drop his fifth album, Forever, in February of 2024. However, unless you're a huge fan, the rest of us had no idea this even released, and obviously did not chart. As his first album ever with no feature from DaBaby, although other billion-dollar baby artists such as K Kilo have publicly called out DaBaby for the way they were managed and promoted while signed under him, Stunna has since said that there is no bad blood and that he simply grew apart from DaBaby over time. We ain't even fall out about you feel me, like, at all. Okay, so Niggas just part of ways, bro. Part of ways, grow, music grow, wise. Grow, Like, grow away from each other. It, ain't, it wasn't nothing crazy. Like, what's your relationship with the baby now? Like, do y'all talk or do you talk too much? No, we don't really talk too much. <laughs> <laughs> On one hand, it's sad to see just how fast the once unstoppable duo of DaBaby and Stunna for Vegas has broke apart. And the truth is, as DaBaby's career has continued to slip in popularity, so has Stunna's. But at the same time, nothing good lasts forever. Now at age 28, and as he says, a grown man with responsibilities more important than rap, although he is thankful for what music has done for him, Stunna has also accepted that his peak days as an artist are behind him. However, with now a family of his own, hit songs that will live on forever, and currently doing what he loves in AAU basketball, Stunna for Vegas seems to be happy, which at the end of the day... That's all that matters. <laughs> My bad for cutting you off. But, um, yeah, that was a... That was a... That, no, that's why I was trying to figure out where the fuck he's been all these, all these years, for real. That boy been balling? Shit, I'm down to ball too, nigga. What the fuck is up? But let me stop on that. But anyways, y'all need to share. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Yeah, I fuck with that. Fuck with that. No cap. Now, this is going to be, this is probably going to be my only video going to these comments. Let's see what this should say. This is actually a nice story, for real. No bad blood, follow. Hell yeah, this is a good story. Respect the stunner for taking care of his family. Hell yeah. Shout out to the W dad. Mm -hmm. His feature, Verse on Jogger, is awesome. That's one of the baby's most underrated track. No, nah, for real. I don't, I don't know some real shit. That was a hit song. But anyways, enough of watching comments. This boy OGT Man signing out. Edie.